Hi, I'm Roy. Today, we are going to discuss the EWRB ESD, Electrical Service Technician, written exam. This exam is essential for anyone aspiring to become a registered electrical service technician in New Zealand. We'll cover what the exam involves, how to prepare for it, and what to expect on the exam day. Let's quickly go over the details of the EWRB ESD exam. This is an online exam conducted by Aspect Limited. You'll be provided with a laptop for the exam, as personal laptops are not allowed. The exam consists of 75 questions, with a passing mark of 60%. This means you need to answer at least 45 questions correctly to pass. The exam duration is 2 hours, and the timer starts as soon as you click the start button. Once the time runs out, the platform will automatically submit your answers, but you can submit them earlier if you finish before the timer ends. The exam includes three types of questions. Multiple choice questions, one correct answer from three to four options. Multiple select questions, more than one correct answer, with four to five options. Numeric questions, requires typing the correct numbers using the keyboard. Be mindful of decimal place requirements when entering your answers. To book this exam, you must first register through the Aspect system and then schedule your exam online. The exam fee is $135. During the booking process, you'll receive details about the reference materials provided, such as the EWRB formula sheet and scratch paper. Note that the formula sheet for the ESD exam is the same as the one used for the electrician exam. Watching videos about the electrician exam formula sheet can be helpful, as more resources are available for that exam compared to the electrical service technician exam. The ESD exam is offered year-round at various aspect facilities, usually once per month. Results are typically released within 24 hours, often on the same day. If you don't receive your results, it might be due to missing conditions, such as the completion of a refresher course. In such cases, it's best to contact ESPEC or your educational provider for assistance. For more details about the EWRB ESD exam, please visit the ASPEC website. Over the past four years, the Electrical Service Technician ESD, exam has seen fluctuations in the number of candidates and pass rates. The most recent year, 2023 to 2024, had the highest number of candidates, 686, but the pass rate dropped slightly to 65.6% with 450 successful candidates. Overall, the pass rate has remained relatively consistent, averaging around 66 to 68 percent, with a peak in performance during the 2022 to 2023 period. After learning how to book and sit the exam, you'll naturally want to know the exam topics and how to prepare for them. First, I suggest downloading the EWRB Teaching Guidelines for Electrical Service Technician Written Examination Prescription from the EWRB website. The written examination will cover various aspects outlined in this prescription. This exam includes electrical theory, referencing electricity regulations and relevant standards, which are critical knowledge sources expected to be known by candidates. For example, topics like minimum insulation resistance values for an electrical installation or appliance, as per requirements from ASNZS 3000 and ASNZS 3760, will be incorporated into questions, especially those relating to testing. You may notice that letters A, B, C, and D appear in the right-hand margin of the guidelines, representing different levels of knowledge candidates are expected to attain. A. Thorough knowledge. B. Good working knowledge. C. General knowledge. Topics marked with A are the most important and require the most attention, followed by level B and then level C. Based on my analysis, the topics are distributed as follows. A. 73 topics. B. 54 topics. C. 26 topics. Since there are so many topics to cover, efficient preparation is crucial. From my teaching experience, focus on level A and calculations, they are the keys to acing the ESD exam. Success is within your reach. Master the EWRB teaching guidelines, focus on key topics, and prioritize your preparation. With hard work and dedication, you'll pass the exam, achieve registration, and take a confident step forward in your career. Your effort today paves the way for a brighter tomorrow.